The Gallipoli Campaign was a military campaign fought between the Allied forces and the Ottoman Empire from April 1915 to January 1916. The campaign was launched with the objective of opening up a new front against the Central Powers and establishing a direct sea route through the Dardanelles Strait to the Russian Empire, which was then an Allied power. The campaign was divided into two phases, a naval phase and a land phase. The naval phase began on February 19, 1915, when a fleet of British and French warships attempted to force their way through the Dardanelles Strait to bombard the Turkish capital, Constantinople. The Turkish force guarding the strait, however, proved more formidable than expected, and the naval attack was repelled with heavy losses. The failure of the naval assault forced the Allies to reconsider their strategy and to plan a land invasion of the Gallipoli Peninsula. The land phase of the campaign began on April 25, 1915, when the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps (ANZACs) ANZACs landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula, along with British and French troops. The ANZACs landed at a site now known as Anzac Cove, while the British and French forces landed at Helles and Sadal Beher. The campaign was led by General Sir Ian Hamilton, who believed that the capture of Gallipoli Peninsula would force Turkey out of the war and open up a new front against the Central Powers. Initially, the landings went relatively smoothly, with the Anzacs managing to establish a foothold on the peninsula. However, they soon encountered stiff resistance from the Ottoman defenders, who had been alerted to the landings by the naval bombardments. The Ottomans, under the command of Mustafa Kemal, launched a fierce counterattack against the Anzacs which forced them to dig in and hold their positions the Anzacs were soon joined by reinforcements from the British and French and the campaign developed into a brutal trench warfare stalemate with both sides dug in and facing each other across a no man's land the fighting on the Gallipoli peninsula was intense and brutal with both sides suffering heavy losses the terrain of the peninsula with the steep cliffs rugged terrain and narrow beaches made it difficult for the troops to maneuver and for the commanders to coordinate their movements the anzacs in particular suffered heavily with more than 8000 australian and new zealand troops killed during the campaign the campaign was characterized by a series of offensives and counteroffensives by both sides as they attempted to break the deadlock and gain a decisive advantage one of the most significant battles of the campaign was the battle of lone pine fought between August 6 and 10, 1915. The battle was fought by Australian troops who launched a surprise attack on Turkish trenches in an attempt to break through their lines. Despite suffering heavy losses, the Australians were eventually able to capture the Turkish trenches, but the victory was short-lived as the Turks quickly launched a counterattack and forced the Australians back. Another significant battle was the Battle of Chunukbeer, fought between August 6 and 10, 1915. The battle was fought by New Zealand troops who were tasked with capturing the high ground around Chunuk Bair, a key strategic position overlooking the peninsula. Despite early success, the New Zealanders were unable to hold their position and the Turks launched a counterattack that forced them back. As the campaign dragged on, the Allies became increasingly disillusioned with their lack of progress and mounting casualties. General Hamilton was eventually replaced by General Sir Charles Monro, who recommended that the campaign be abandoned. The final Allied offensive Launched in December 1915 was a last ditch attempt to break through the Turkish lines and capture the Gallipoli Peninsula. The offensive known as the Battle of Seri Bair was a failure and the Allies were forced to withdraw from the peninsula in January 1916. The Gallipoli campaign was a strategic failure for the Allies as it failed to achieve its objectives of opening up a new front against the Central Powers and securing a direct sea route to Russia. The legacy of the Gallipoli campaign can still be felt today. particularly in Australia and New Zealand where Anzac Day is celebrated annually on April 25th to commemorate the landing of Anzac troops on the Gallipoli Peninsula the campaign also had a profound impact on the Ottoman Empire contributing to the rise of Turkish nationalism and the eventual overthrow of the Ottoman government in conclusion the Gallipoli campaign was a major military campaign fought during World War 1 which had significant political and social consequences for both the allies and the Ottoman Empire The campaign was characterized by brutal trench warfare, heavy casualties, and a lack of progress, and ultimately ended in failure for the Allies. 
Despite its failure, the campaign remains an important part of the history and identity of Australia and New Zealand, and it serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by soldiers during World War I.